Dr. Coates here. I'm going to show you today how to connect your Signia Pure Charge and Go NX hearing aid to the touch control app for your smartphone. On the Android phone, you're going to go to the Google Play Store, but on the Apple products, you're going to go to the App Store. So we're going to click on the Play Store here. You're going to search for what's called the touch control. It's all one word. Once you see it pop up there, you'll click on it and make sure that it is Signia. You're going to go ahead and hit install. Once it's installed, you can open it from here or you can find it on your home screen and open it from there. We're going to go ahead and open it from here for now. It's going to walk you through the steps. You're going to hit accept and continue. We're going to go ahead and do a manual setup. You want it to allow access for right now. Once you get to this screen, what you want to do is turn the device off and back on to put it into search mode. There are two different ways to do that. You can either press and hold the button on the back of the device for about five seconds to turn it off. You can also put it in the charger to turn it off. Once you take it out of the charger, it will automatically restart. Or you can press and hold this button again for five seconds to reboot the hearing aid. Then you'll want to go ahead and put it back in your ear. Once it's back in your ear, you're going to hit Signia Products. It's going to ask if you heard a confirmation sound in your hearing aids that will indicate a successful pairing. If you heard it, you'll hit yes. If not, you can hit no. Try the restart again to see if you hear it the second time. We're gonna go ahead and hit yes. Do you have different programs? If you do, hit yes. If not, if most of your settings are automatic, just hit no. The setup is complete. On the home screen here, you'll see the volume control. You can slide it up or slide it down from your default middle volume there. Every time you turn the devices off, it always resets you back to your default settings. There are some other features in this app which we will review in another video.